Uh, Ashoka is really, and, and Youth Venture, by the way, is, a, is an initiative, an outgrowth of Ashoka. Um, and we share sort of a, a world vision, which I think is, is the key critical uh, point here. Um, we start from the premise of the idea that uh, what would happen if everyone in society um, were to take initiative to look around and, and, and work with their peers in order to try to make the world a better place? What if they applied their talent, their creativity, their problem-solving skills in whatever way they could um, in order to make the world around them a better place? What we think is that would unleash just tremendous more numbers and amount of talent of, of innovation, of solutions, um, and, and ultimately sort of make the world a better place. And so we call it an everyone a change maker world. Uh, and for us, that essentially is what a change maker is. It's a person who takes initiative, who looks around and tries to solve problems and tries to be creative. Um, social entrepreneurship is a term we, we help to popularize. Uh, we think that it's in some ways sort of the highest evolution, as it were, um, of a change maker. Uh, a social entrepreneur is a person who looks at social problems, looks at issues, hunger, homelessness, uh, the environment, et cetera, and seeks to find solutions for them, but goes about it in a very systematic, in a very entrepreneurial, if you will, way. Um, looking at building uh, structures and systems and processes that will seek to address that problem, but to achieve the result, to make an impact, to capture the market, as it were, using all of kind of the, as it were, hard science uh, methods and techniques, but applying them to a social problem. Um, and what Ashoka has done for almost 30 years now is um, elect Ashoka Fellows, who are basically these social entrepreneurs who have what we consider to be a systems changing idea, who really have found kind of a solution, um, often bringing together very unrelated concepts, unrelated ideas together in new ways, you know, uh, aligning them in new ways and constructing uh, solutions in ways that perhaps no one had thought of before in order to make that difference. And often their results, their impact becomes not something that just benefits their community or their city, but in fact their nation, if not the world. Um, the sort of poster child we use for the concept of a social entrepreneur is Muhammad Yunus, if you all are familiar with him, um, uh, Nobel Prize winner in 2007. He essentially invented the microfinance industry. He was a person who looked around in Bangladesh and saw that there were people he knew um, of extremely modest means who needed some financial support in order to sustain their livelihoods. Um, and he also realized that there was no solution in the market at the time to address those people um, because they basically fundamentally had no collateral. They had uh, little or no income to, to speak of that could certainly that could be documented. And so neither the banking system nor the government aid system uh, effectively served them. So he invented the nonprofit bank. He created the concept of using the, the techniques of banking uh, to assist this marginalized community. And as we all know, microfinance is now something that's colossal, that has some 20,000 institutions around the world. Um, it's an idea that he put together. It's, a, it's, a, it's an entrepreneurial approach uh, addressing a social problem. That, in a nutshell, um, is what it is. And so what we at Ashoka and Youth Venture believe, making a long story short at last, um, is that in order to get to this everyone a change maker world, what we need is to have everyone, and we do mean all almost 7 billion people on the planet, everyone have the experience of positive change making. And so therefore, looking forward strategically, the logical way perhaps to approach this is to begin with young people. To have them, before they reach adulthood, have the experience of change making, of having a positive impact uh, on the world around them. Um, the analogy I like to use when I talk to folks about youth venture is that essentially, if you think of pretty much any corporate titan you can think of, and you read their biography or, or read an interview with them, almost to a person they had, as Steve mentioned earlier, their paper route when they were young, which taught them some of the very first business skills they ever learned, um, or the lemonade stand, as we all know. Um, what I like to think about or, or, or to help people make the analogy for youth venture is that essentially we're helping people uh, build their lemonade stands for social change. Uh, while they're young people, before they reach adulthood, so that they understand that A, there are business skills to be used and applied, there are life skills, survival skills that they need, but there's also a concern about their community, a concern about the, the world around them that is also should be part of their values and part of their, their vision. Um, and so realizing that it's not rocket science, that it's not the, some sort of magic that only valedictorians or young people somewhere else can do, but in fact that everyone can do. They recognize the power they have within themselves to be change makers. They learn practically how to do it. And ultimately what we believe is that they'll go through life for the rest of their lives being change makers, applying these same skills and techniques and vision and approach uh, to the way they live their lives. And so what we do is work with young people to give them that experience of being change makers, of creating their own social ventures 
run by them, often for the first time in their lives, being in the position of, of being decision makers, um, designing a project or a program or an organization or even a business that is sustainable, that is ongoing, that is, um, that is managed by them, and that has some sort of tangible community benefit. And so they present it, as Steve saw at a panel, um, once they've fully designed basically their business plan for feedback and for analysis. And then once it's approved um, and, and it's thought to be fully developed, they actually receive a bit of startup funding, up to $1,000 in a seed grant, in order to begin implementing, to put their, ish, uh, their ideas into action. And then they go on about being change makers and, in fact, joining a global network now of other young change makers around the world. We're, we're operating in about 17 countries uh, beyond the United States. And so it happens both at the global level and all the way down here at the local level in Washington, D.C., which uh, Nicosi is actually really taking the lead on. Well, there's probably not much to add uh, to, to Marco's um, introduction because um, he summed it up very well. But as Steve mentioned, we are very focused on the process. Uh, we are very intentional um, and deliberate about providing an experience, uh, transformative experience for um, our young change makers. So it's not just about creating change. It's not just coming um, to the end result, but it really is how did you get there and uh, showing them a roadmap to get there so that they can duplicate that for the rest of their lives. So it's not just about the one experience or the one entrepreneurial experience that, that they have, but it's really about how do you duplicate this and they can have um, a really intuitive understanding of, of how to create change. So um, it's not much to add on, on, on to Marcos, but um, we're doing some really dynamic things. And last thing is we, uh, just from the emotional perspective, but there's really a shift in that you see in the young people from becoming really uh, recipients of aid. A lot of our, our students are recipients of aid and, um, uh, and, and are on, on the receiving end to becoming now the givers and the providers of aid. And, and it's really a transformative experience uh, for our young people. So um, with that, I'm going to invite you out to, and I'll provide some information, and, and I'll have Steve distribute, but invite you to just come and see some of the dynamic things that we're doing here in the uh, D.C. area. Uh, I, I actually work with the higher education, so we focus on 12 to 21 year olds and I, I work with the upper end of that group, so I work with the university students. Um, so I'm not as familiar with the younger ones, but some of the projects that um, have happened though have been, actually one homework task for you tonight is to go, I think it's just still up on Starbucks. Yes. Um, on Starbucks.com homepage there's a, an example of a, a youth venture in Seattle who has started a breakdancing club and essentially they're raising money and sending it back over to Africa and it's sort of um, expending energy in a positive way for, um, for youth I've there. I've joined that club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you? Maybe we can have that in the parking lot after this. I can show you an example. Yeah, so... Someone's got to take over for Michael Jackson now. But you're not in the video, unfortunately. <laughs> so that's one. I mean, so that's one that is actually, I don't know how much longer it's going to be up there, but Starbucks has featured that on their homepage. So that's a good so example of something you can you look see at. If you enter um, and then some of the more local ones. In D.C., there's a, you know, there's a girl that moved, moved here eight months ago, experienced homelessness firsthand, and is now um, really wanting to start, uh, start a group focused on homelessness in D.C. Um, because it's an experience she had just gone through herself. So that's sort of a very um, rooted and personal experience type venture. Other ones are more about, you know, they've got interests in, um, in developing countries, and so they start something around, around, um, around supporting youth in developing countries like the breakdancing one. So it's, it's a whole spectrum of kind of different sorts of ventures and different levels of, um, of awareness prior to and all of those. But youth venture sort of meets them where they are and supports them through the process and gives them the support they need, uh, whether that's, you know, financial or mentoring or, or whatever, and so.